Dallas, Texas. If you live in the city of Dallas, Texas, there is a massacre that is about to happen on the city of Dallas. Y'all, we don't have time to be playing. We don't have time to be worried about it. Any other than it's down here. We do not have time to be playing no more. It's so serious. This is the most I'll probably get on this app and embarrass myself. I'm not lying. We don't have time to be playing. We don't have time to be worried about little stuff. It's those details that worry about what you gonna eat, what you gonna wear, what you gonna drive, what you gonna live in. We don't have time. We need to pray and seek him. We don't have time no more. Shalom, just a brother Azana Moth back at you with another lesson. And I pray this lesson is edifying to the lambs, to the sheep of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash, and double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who do well. Peace and salutations to all the Akim and the Akwath. All right, the Bayash which is the house of David. So, do you want to keep playing games? Or what would it take for you to take this seriously? I mean, how long will you forsake the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai? All right? He's a patient power until he isn't. And the Lord has been very lenient on this world. Lenient on those that say they know him. So we only prophesy in part. We can only warn you of the perilous times to come and the consequences for those that continue to put off the Lord for the things of the world. But he can show you better than we can tell you. All right, Edra said, for like as all is made in the world, have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest and we can see it. And if it be so, that means the pain, the anxiety, the anguish, it's just the beginning of many sorrows. So those tears that you heard from this young lady, that's going to amp up a million times more. All right. And the Lord has been putting a heavy spirit upon me to report the burdens coming to the people of Babylon the Great. The overtone of America is a sense of uncertainty. All right. A lack of faith is going to be a regularity. So when women like her have visions or hear impending dangers, she said in Dallas, Texas, all right, all you have is tears and emotions instead of answers, right? Because you're going to lament and the Lord is going to laugh. This is Proverbs 1 and 24. Because I have called and you have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. I will also laugh at your calamity. I will mock you when your fear cometh. And we saw the fear from that young lady. You see, like we said, the beginning of many sorrows, right? Proverbs 1 and 27, when your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish come upon you, right? So that's what's going to come because warning after warning after warning, you still ain't hearkening. And you're the only one dancing to the song of fools. But when knowledge was flowing and repentance was open, you turned your face and waxed worse. She says, seek the Lord. And that's the best thing to do. Seek Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai right now. Then they should call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of the Lord. They were none of my counsel. They despised all my reproof. All right? So because the lack of the fear of the Lord, you despise the truth. All right? Because fools hate knowledge. And that's why the calamity is going to come down on the inhabitants of Babylon the Great and two-thirds of the Lord's people. Because you have no fear of the Heavenly Father. She's not crying and sighing for the abominations thereof. She's not crying and sighing for the so-called white man and his supremacy. She's crying and sighing about what's to come. 
right? Proverbs 1 and 31, therefore they should eat the fruit of their own way. So how long will you turn your ear from the Lord? Right? We want to be 100% clear. The doors of mercy are closing. This woman crying out should spark your consciousness. All right? Matching the prophecies to what she's saying, which is time is running out. You don't have time left. The sand hourglass is almost empty. If you can pick up what I'm putting down. All right? Time is running out. Time is of the essence. Okay? Mark 1 and 15, what does it say? The time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye and believe the gospel. You see, that's the gift that we have is repentance. But you people have discarded this gift. You haven't even unwrapped it. It's just sitting on the top of your dresser with that dusty Bible that you never opened. He said, repent and believe. Okay? And the scriptures say his sons and daughters will prophesy and visions will be seen. All right? So from that video that we saw, hey, that young lady appeared to be authentic. So she may have had a vision or she has some information that's vital. Or the Lord can put a spirit on her of wailing. You see? Either way, the watchman we take these confessions and these testimonies seriously, right? Watching all things and afflictions. Because believe it or not, that's what's coming. Heavy affliction to Babylon the Great. You see? Now let's read this because I want to make this short and sweet. And I pray this epistle is edifying. That it triggers your spirit to apply discernment. Because something divine is about to happen. What time is it? Romans 13, 11. And that knowing that the time that now is high time to wake up out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than we believe. Now is our salvation nearer than we believe. All right. The kingdom is at hand. So what we all should be doing is what? Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Yeah, that's right. Put on the armor of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Who was willing to put on the armor of light? Which represents Yahweh Shai. But ye put on the Lord Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and make not provision for the flesh to fulfill the luster of. You see, put on Yahweh Shai. Redemption out of this hellhole, out of this cesspool land. Okay? Comes through him. When the scribes and Pharisees brought the industrious woman to him, he didn't condemn her immediately. All right, giving her an opportunity to repent. He said, go, sin no more. Right? And that's the message from the Heavenly Father. Because rebellion is a sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as inequity and idolatry. The Israelites that don't know the Lord, all they know is disappointment. Being let down by family, by society, by your father and by your mother. Okay? But this ain't the time to poke your lip out and pout. Okay? No, this is the time to gird up your loins. She said there's no more time. Okay? No more time for miscellaneous things. No more time for the things of the world. And only if they would listen. Because the Lord gave strict Explicit instructions to watch all things and to endure. 66.6% .6 of Israelites will not endure. Second Edges 9 and 1. He answered me and said, Measure thy time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before. See, which he had told us before. He had warned Israel to flee into the mountains before the Romans came down with that cold-blooded great wrath in 70 AD. You think every Israelite took heed? No, some didn't take it seriously. They didn't take Noah seriously until it was too late. And they drowned. Lot warned his family. 
All right. And only his daughters took heed. You see the pattern? See, we're in the days of Lot. This is Sodom and Gomorrah. Whatever vision this woman had or information she knows is a sign of 70 AD coming back strong. All right. With the modern day Romans, these Edomites, they have a crooked government that's ready to prepare and commit atrocities against U.S. citizens, but you people believe in them more than the Most High and His Son. So she's right. Time is running out. And for those that still can't see the vibration, all right, of the earth, you know, the hearts of men blinded by mirth, right? That turn up demon will be Jake's and Eve's downfall. It's the second Ezra's nine and nine. Then shall they be in a pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments, for such in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Again, if you don't pray to the God of Israel, serve the God of Israel and his son, Yahweh Shai, the Savior, but you receive benefits, you receive the reward on this side. They're going to be in a pitiful case. Thus saith the Heavenly Father. Second Edges 9 and 11. And they that have loathed my law, while they had yet the liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Right, you despised it. Do you hear what the Lord is telling you? You despise his ways, his laws, his statutes, his judgments. And you're giving yourself over to the idolatry of Babylon the Great. Second, Ezra 9 and 12, the same must know it after death by pain. So how she was crying, that was just a glimpse of sadness and depression that millions of men are going to be out here, are going to be in the spirit of. Lamentation, it's going to be nothing but crocodile tears and bawling out here. When Babylon is taken over. And they're going to start with their draconian measures. We don't have time to be praying. We don't have time to be worried about little stuff. It's those details that worry about what you going to eat. What you going to wear. What you going to drive. What you going to live in. We don't have time. We need to pray and seek him. We don't have time no more. So yeah, like she said. Time is running out. The time is running out. So repent and seek the Lord's face so you can find mercy. And I'll leave it there. I hope this lesson has been edifying to the sheep, to the elect of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakahakwadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. This is the brother Azana Moth from Sacramento, California. Wa Ababa Ball. Shalom.